21 Savage is one of the most respected rappers in all of hip hop. He has the respect of legends like J. Cole and Nas, but on top of that, he has the respect of the younger generation. And to be honest with you, it's really hard to hate 21 Savage even as a fan. But once upon a time, he was considered to be a part of the most hated group in all of hip hop the mumble rapper. In the mid 2010s with the rise of SoundCloud, a new sound within hip hop began to rise. Inspired by the young thugs or even to a lesser extent the speaker knockers type of sound, on top of the production of like Amigos type of beat, came a new generation of rappers that would change the sound of hip hop. However, a lot of people hated this new generation of artists and the way that they went about rapping. Oh, uh, what's the kid? Lil Yachty, mm -hmm. Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah. They're like, yo, we're not rappers. Mm -hmm. We we just make, we're artists, so we're just rock stars. Whatever. We call it mumble rap. So with time came the term mumble rap as a way to knock down the new generation. But yeah, caught in the crossfire of this label was 21 Savage. Rapping out of Atlanta, 21 Savage would receive a lot of attention following the release of Savage Mode. And honestly, I don't know if Savage Mode works if it wasn't for the production of Metro Boomin. And of course, the album also wouldn't have worked if it wasn't with 21 Savage. Why you pulling out the rapper's card? Both of them worked together to create this dark sound and violent sound as well. And it was this sound that made 21 Savage stand out from the rest of the rappers that were coming alongside him. The album has gone on to become one of the more iconic trap albums of the 2010s, especially with songs like Etz and No Heart taking over. Just Overall, the album is defining in the careers of both 21 Savage and Metro Booming and really solidifying both artists as people to look out for as we headed into the late 2010s. Unfortunately though, 21 Savage would follow up the album with It's an Album. The album was not as good as Savage Mode at all, and it's probably the most forgettable that 21 Savage has ever sounded. It really solidified him as a mumble rapper in many people's eyes. Because this album really makes it sound like 21 Savage has nothing to offer. Most of the bars here are just like generic flexing bars, and 21 Savage is much more than that. Wow, wow, wow. Although I will admit, bank account is still a hard song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank. The song became 21's biggest hit at the time, and honestly, I'm pretty happy that it did. Because again, the song does go hard, and the beat, pretty cool beat as well. Despite the dud that was is an album, 21 Savage was starting to build momentum and gaining some mainstream popularity, mainly because of his feature on Post Malone's Rockstar. The song hit the top of the charts, and although I know most people listen to it for Post Malone, I think 21 Savage carried the song they like savage why you got a 12 car garage and you only got six his verse just injects so much life into the song that if it was post malone blown it just wouldn't work but on the other hand if it was 21 savage alone i still think the song would be good sweeter than a pop tart you know you are not hard and to continue his year in 2017 21 Savage would once again pair up with Metro Booming and Offset from the Migos. Unlike Issa album, Without Warning complemented the talents of 21 Savage, especially with the darker sound being back and the lyricism of 21 Savage reverting back to the usual. And to be clear, it wasn't like 21 Savage devolved into what he used to be because he actually improved. And maybe I just feel like he improved things to the vibe and the sound of the album having entirely changed from Iza. And also being alongside Offset doesn't hurt. But if you want to go to the album that really made people respect 21 Savage just more than just a mumble rapper, we gotta go to I Am Greater Than I Was. The album featured rappers that were widely respected like Childish Gambino and Schoolboy Q, but it also carried the newer generation like Lil Baby and Gunna, which really shows the understanding that 21 Savage has for this type of things. Unlike his older project, Projects, 21 Savage was able to stand out without having to rely on dark beats or violent lyrics, which is most prominent on his song alongside J. Cole a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The song was a big hit off the album, and part of that is thanks to J. Cole. 
Some niggas make millions, other niggas make memes. Hey, not gonna lie, J. Cole kinda snapped on this, if we're being honest. Then it's Madrid, stay solid, my nigga. I'm on a tangent. Not 21 Savage also has an interesting story with the song. Because we really see the substance that 21 Savage always carried, but now it was on the forefront of the song. Be dead and rich. Tell my brothers, take my breath. He spoke on many things that he went through, like the death of his best friend. Brother lost his life and it turned me to a beast. Which was a bit part of why he started to rap. How that affected him and how it can affect others. For those that aren't fans of 21 Savage or even fans of music, this song is probably most known because with the release of this song, we learned that 21 Savage was British. The line in there where you say, went through some things, but I couldn't imagine my kids stuck at the border. Right. Do you feel like you were targeted as a result of that? Basically being critical of the immigration system here? My lawyers think that. As the story goes, 21 Savage was born in England and grew up there up until the age of seven when his family decided to move to Atlanta. It was big news on like the news uh, and Jay-Z had like a super team of lawyers to help the guy. But ever since that situation happened though, 21 Savage has done some of his best work of his career. Savage Mode 2 release in 2020 and honestly as a sequel album is pretty cool. I'd say it's just as good if not a little bit better than Savage Mode 1. With the big difference between the two obviously being the maturity and the evolution that 21 Savage and even Metro Boomin had as an artist. But also, I think the big difference for this album has to be the fact that Morgan Freeman is narrating the thing. And untamed. Mode is defined as a way of operating. Like the first time that I heard this album, I was so surprised that they were able to get Morgan Freeman to do this. It was amazing. It's also only 45 minutes, so it's not that long if you want to check it out. Most recently, 21 Savage has been one of the best feature artists in all of hip hop. Whether it's alongside Pharrell Williams and Tyler the Creator, or whether it's rapping with Jake on Jimmy Crooks. If I was Will Smith, I would have slapped him with a stick. 21 has had one of the best years of his career, and honestly, one of the best years of any rapper this year. Especially with Jimmy Cooks going to number one and 21 and Drake basically saying, hey, let's make Jimmy Cooks the album. And that's what we got on her loss. In a drop top bins like it's 03, 21. Had to shoot his down. But to wrap everything up, it's been great to see 21 Savage transform himself from what was a once a one dimensional artist that had one trick in his bag to what he is now. And it's even more awesome to see that 21 Savage was able to escape the mumble rapper label. With that being said, I'm gonna roll the outro. Uh, honestly, it's been a while since I've been here, but hey, I was I was doing a play. I was doing play stuff because, you know, I'm a theater kid now. Uh, anyway, shout out to y'all. Shout out to me. And shout out to Yadilla.